Hello and welcome back to my channel, Craft Time by Casey. I'm Casey and today is going to be all about how I organize. And I will tell you, um, I can be a little OCD. Of all the videos that I've put out there, this one I'm kind of the most nervous about. Um, it, it can be difficult to kind of put your personal space out there and um, kind of leave it up for scrutiny. But I know that I have watched several other videos on organization and I've gotten a lot of tips that I have, I've used myself. And even when I've seen something that, you know, I didn't take on for myself, I can respect and appreciate that, you know, it works for them. I'm hoping that this video can, you know, help. I mean, even if it's just, you know, a few bits and pieces of this video, um, I hope to, you know, help anybody who might be struggling with how they organize or maybe need um, an extra tip or some help. And um, I just wanted to show you how I do it. I've also had a couple different requests, several in fact, requests um, on, uh, on me to kind of show how I organize. So that is what this video is going to be about. And I will go ahead and tell you, I tried to film this all once on one video and it just became way too long. So I'm going to break this up into two videos. One video is going to be the whole of my room, the whole room minus my desk area. Okay. I'm going to kind of go around and show, um, different parts of my craft room and how I do what I do. Um, and then the second video is just going to be my desk area because to be honest, there's a lot to it. And that video is still going to be kind of long, but again, I'm a little OCD with organization. So if this is something that interests you and you want to see a closer look as to how I organize, then stay tuned. We're going to start right at the door. My craft room in my house is my spare bedroom and I have kind of taken over this spare bedroom and I paint as well. Um, I haven't painted recently. I've kind of shifted gears into jewelry most of the time, but I have a lot of my artwork covering the walls and I also have my stack over here of other artwork that I've done. Of course, it's separated. Um, I sell at craft fairs all the time and a lot of my stuff is out right now and kind of stacked up like this, um, ready to be moved to my uh, booth, which I have next Saturday. I have a craft fair, so I'm kind of excited about it. All right, so that's the artwork. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on that. Here is my first shelf, right? As you walk in the door, you see this shelf. And to speak of the shelving unit itself, I absolutely love it. I love that the shelves themselves are solid. And by solid, I mean they don't have holes. If you look over at this shelving system over here, um, I used to have nothing but shelves like this, where it's kind of graded, with G-R-A-T-E-D. Um, and which is great for paint supplies, um, but when it comes to a lot of jewelry supplies, um, stuff can fall through. So I like that solid shelf. And I got these shelving units at Hobby Lobby, um, and I purchased one, and I loved it so much that I went back and purchased a second one. Um, and I, So now I have a matching set on either side of my working desk. Now, um, these shelves hold most of my finished work um, and they fill up fairly quickly but here as you can see on this top shelf I have 
um, my one of my um, single bar necklace holders um, and currently it's holding a lot of my wooden necklaces the wooden bead necklaces and then a few of my longer ones um, that are kind of hanging over the side and over here it's got some of my extra pieces that I tend to use more for pictures um, I have this one individual tier bracelet display and uh, one of my leftover earring displays. I like to have one that's open um, so I can grab it for pictures and that way I don't have to take, um, you know, jewelry off of the ones that I'm using. All right, so this second shelf here, I have a few of my necklaces um, that some of you might recognize from previous videos. Um, I purchased this holder at Michael's and I purchased these two at, um, I want to say I purchased them both at Hobby Lobby and, um, I, I absolutely love them. I wished <laughs> at the time that they had one, uh, this color in this size, but this was all that they had. Um, but again, a lot of my jewelry is out because I go, I do a lot of craft fairs and it, this is just easier for me to move than it is for me to have them all packaged up. So back here, I have um, a couple of my Potomac bead boxes. Um, and as I've said in several of the videos, these boxes are very high quality. They have magnet front closures and they're really good for storage. And currently um, I store a lot of the patterns from the previous bead boxes in there. And I really do love those boxes. I was not kidding. This shelf, I have some more of my um, completed pieces, but these are mostly necklace and earring sets, um, except for the green one there, it's just a necklace. And I purchased these off of the white display holder off of Amazon as well as this one. This came in a three pack. Um, and I'll go ahead and say now, um, in the description box of this video, I'm going to leave as many links as I possibly can. A lot of this stuff, like I said, I purchased at the stores, so I won't be able to put the links for those. But again, I'm trying to uh, remember where I purchased everything. But everything that I purchased off of Amazon, which is quite a bit, I'm going to leave a link down below. Um, so yes, once again, I purchased uh, these two displays off of um, Amazon. And one thing I really, really love about these, these white ones, is that they have the earring holes in them. So it's a really easy piece to display um, a necklace and earring set. And I really love that. It's very convenient when it comes to displaying jewelry or taking pictures um, or having it at a craft fair. Um, these I do enjoy. They are much uh, less expensive, so you can definitely um, get more of these at a time. And if you're trying to display several necklaces and earring sets, again, you can just kind of dangle the earrings off the top, which, you know, works perfectly good. So I enjoy that set. And then, of course, these are the ones that are a little bit more expensive, where you have the individual earring holders and then the kind of velvety necklace holder. All right. So now this shelf here, I have two of my three bar bracelet holders and I try to organize my bracelets the best I can. Um, this one is mostly multi-strand bracelets. And as you can see, there's not quite as many. Um, these tend to be a fan favorite and these go pretty quickly. Um, I do have an Etsy shop and I will link that down below, but I'll pull these out so you can see them a little bit better. Um, I like to keep all of my multi-strand bracelets together. Most of them are toggle clasp, uh, because they're a little bit stronger when it comes to the, um, extra strands of these bracelets. Might recognize some of them from some of my previous, uh, videos. <laughs> Um, and this one is mostly my single strand bracelets or my bead weaving bracelets. 
Um, so I, I kind of put both of those. A lot of these are charm bracelets as well. Um, but I did purchase, I want to say I purchased two of these three unit things from uh, three unit holders from Michaels. And then I have another one up there on the top shelf. Um, I did purchase one from Amazon and it was a little bit cheaper. So I will leave that linked down below. So I have these out again. A lot of my jewelry is on display because of how many uh, craft fairs that I do. And currently I don't have anything on this bottom shelf, but again, absolutely love this shelving system. Um, and Another thing I love about them is the open shelves. So there's no side, there's no back to it. Um, again, things can hang from any shelf like this where it's not gonna be impeded. And then over here, again, multiple necklaces. You can hang like this, or you can have things kind of sticking out a little bit. I just, I love the openness of these shelves. All right. So coming over to this shelving unit, um, on the top shelf, I have my lanyards. And normally when I'm at my craft fairs, I'll have two or so of these um, holding my lanyards so they're not quite all piled up just like this. Or I'll have them hanging off of a third rack of one of these and just sitting at the end of a table. So they'll hang down and they display quite a bit better. So I have my one tier necklace holder in the back and a lot of these are holding my um, cabochon necklaces that um, I have painted. These are all hand painted necklaces and these tend to sell pretty well in person for people who can, you know, kind of see and go through them. I have several of these on my Etsy store as well. They they are kind of a fan favorite. Um, cute little side story. I bought these panda, um, these panda beads, and when I got, um, when I made the necklace that I wanted to make with them, I had one left over. And my son, um, I was gonna, I was just gonna put it in my bead soup bag, and uh, my son was like, "You can't, you know, you can't get rid of this," and he uh, grabbed one of my containers and and put it in the container. Um, and so now it's, it's got its pride of place right here on the corner of my shelf. And I definitely just leave it there. I like it. So my second shelf, um, is mostly earrings. I have my three turnstiles. Um, these are really convenient for my craft fairs. And, um, I do enjoy, I have three of these. I purchased them, um, each one of them at Michael's. And I kind of just keep buying another one as I make more and grow into them. I purchased one at a time. And then when I outgrew that one, the second one and the third and so on. Um, so yes, I do love them. I love that they spin. It is very, very convenient. Um, I purchased this um, as a way of holding my own personal earrings. And then at one of the craft fairs that I went to, I brought it as, as one of my extra displays. And ever since then, I, I haven't used it personally anymore. It's been part of my display unit for craft, craft fairs, and I love that. It's just a picture frame um, that has little divots in it to hold earrings. It's uh, pretty awesome. And then the next shelf, um, a lot more of my earrings, the individual stands. I will definitely put a link to these stands uh, below. I've perched purchased um, several of them from Amazon. These are a lot of my bead weaving earrings. And usually if I see a tutorial or find a pattern that I enjoy or that I like, I tend to make four or five, six um, in just different colors. And there's another one that I've made several of, you can see behind. Um, again, if I like a pattern, I just, and if I enjoy making it, then yeah, I'll make several. Another one of my single tier necklace holders. And this unit here was never meant to hold jewelry. This was a holder for my extra supplies. 
Um, and if I buy, or not if, when I buy extra supplies from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I uh, will hang them on the back here or I'll put them in here. And usually it's, you know, ear wires or eye pins or crimp tubes or, um, you know, crimp cover, things that I absolutely know that I will use and that I use all the time and I never want to run out of. Um, I also have some of my prepackaged sets. Um, I, I put these out at my, um, at my craft fairs as well. I have several back there. And actually I have an entire container of them right here as well. My prepackaged earrings and necklace sets. This third shelf is currently um, just two of my necklaces. And these two were um, the other two in the three pack with that came with the one on the far uh, right on that shelf over there. It came in a three pack of necklace displays and I use them again. I obviously am using them constantly, but I use them at every craft fair that I go to. And then down here, these are a lot of the supplies for when I sell my jewelry. I have the uh, some of the boxes that I ship them in. I have them in this brown color. And then I also have them over here in this white color. Um, and then, of course, I have my business cards right here. And over here um, are the cards that I put my earrings in. I have the cards that I... Uh, put my bracelets on and what's really cool about these is that they already have the adhesive on them so when I um, When I go to my craft fairs, I can take that white piece off and it just automatically sticks I don't have to worry about tape or glue or anything like that. Um, and again, all, all of these will be linked below I have ordered this many times and another good thing about this I purchased this two hole punch and you can see the dots right there. That's what the that's what it punches out. Um, and when I make a bracelet and earring set, I will put this together, and then I will punch out earring holes. And that way, I can kind of display them together, um, and it turns out really nice. There's one of my bead soup bags, <laughs> um, and more earring extra earring cards. And then of course I have many of these price tag bags um because again i said like i said i do uh craft fairs all the time as many as i can um this shelving unit is mostly my um painting supplies now right there some of the uh containers that a lot of my jewelry came in and for whatever reason i hang on to them i'll probably end up getting rid of them I don't like these types of containers. Um, that's why I purchased the smaller containers that I will get into um, mostly in the next video uh, in part two of my organization. Because usually when these get full and they stack up, I tend to not be able to see what's in them. But they travel easier than the little containers. So I do hang on to some of them. Most of these are my painting supplies, canvases, and then over here, of course, I also make magnets. These are um, similar to the uh, cabochon necklaces. I also do cabochon magnets. They are super strong. And when I sell them at, um, I sell these on my Etsy store, but when I sell them at um, craft fairs, I bring them on these um, like cookie sheets. So it, it shows how they, how hard they, um, how strong they are when they stick to these pans. Um, and these are the extra containers that I have. Um, and I will go ahead and link them below in this video, but I will break them down detailed in my next video when I go over my shelving unit. All right. Last thing here, I have my light box. All right. So this... Go ahead and turn it on. 
It has a dial to the side right here um, and you turn it on and when you first turn it on, it's at its lowest setting. So you can dial it up and make it much, much brighter or you can dial it down, make it a little bit dimmer before you turn it off. Now, I got the bigger light box. This I mostly use for um, display to take pictures because um, the lighting in this room isn't all that great. But I will say the sides of them, I actually bought a display board, a cardboard kind of display board in the school section, office section at, um, I want to say it was either Target or Walmart uh, because I needed something solid and black to cover up the side because you can see it's kind of bright silver. Um, and the background colors that came with it are these pieces of plastic. Um, it came with several different colors and I just wanted the black. That's the only thing I wanted, but it only came with one, so it didn't cover the sides. So when I purchased this board, I just cut it in half and I set it on either side. So when I come in here to take a picture, um, it ends up looking, you know, pretty nice and, and it's very, very well lit. Um, and I really, really enjoy this. It, it, the lighting in it brings out the pictures quite nice. Um, now this was the second one that I bought. The first one that I bought was much smaller and I didn't realize that. I mean, I, of course I saw that it was 12 inches, but I, it, I guess I didn't do any math in my head because it wouldn't fit a necklace holder like this. So I ended up returning the first one and purchasing this one um, because I can actually fit a necklace display, a medium, a medium sized necklace display in here. So it actually comes out quite nice when I come in to take pictures. Um, and it, as you can see, it fits very comfortably. I mean, there's several inches over the top of it, um, over the top of it. So it definitely fits. Now it doesn't fit the giant neck displays for as far as the, um, the like lanyard holders for the super long ones, but it fits the medium ones. And it certainly obviously fits the smaller ones, uh, very nicely. And ever since I got this tall one, I mean, every video that I make, this is, this is what I use <laughs> or anytime I post something on Etsy, this is pretty much where I set it to take the pictures. Um, and I will link this below as well. And, um, again, highly recommend it. And I know it sounds like, you know, everything that I'm saying, Oh, I highly recommend it. You know, everything that I have, but I will say that I have gone through a lot of trial and error and um, I certainly would never recommend something that I don't like. Um, and usually I'll, I'll buy something because I think it's nice. And, you know, if I try it and it just doesn't work, then I, if I have time, I'll return it. And if I don't, I genuinely will either give it away or get rid of it until I find something that I do like. And, and that's why usually when I stick with something and I recommend it, it's because I've tried a few other things until I found the one that I liked. So... I highly recommend most of everything in here and you'll see in my next video I still have a few things that I'm not a huge fan of again there's some of my art and one last thing I will show and I will say my closet isn't near as neat as the rest of the room but inside the closet I have a lot of my uh, shipping supplies. Um, the bubble wrap, the bubble mailers, the cardboard corners for my artwork when it is ordered. Um, so here is where I store all of that stuff. I wanted to share that with you um, for when I ship my items from Etsy. That brings us to the end of part one of my storage and organization. 
If you like this video and you want to see others like this, or if you're looking forward to part two to kind of see what goes into that area right there, um, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below, give me a like, and uh, leave a comment. I genuinely love reading your comments. They always, they just make me feel so good. You guys are so kind, and I greatly appreciate it. I love being a part of this jewelry making community. Um, it just feels like there is so much support and it's amazing. So again, thank you very much for watching and I will be sending out part two as soon as I can. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.